with Newsman 1967. I'm inside of a 2019 Dodge Charger GT. And this is your little um, panel here. I don't know how many inches. It's probably about a 7-inch screen, 7 or 8-inch screen, somewhere like that. And right now we're in the climate section. You can go to media, and it tells you everything you have. Auxiliary, USB, Bluetooth. I don't have anything hooked up right now. Then we've got the radio, AM, FM. Got your dial here. Look at that. But what's really cool about this car, you go into apps, you go to performance, and you can change everything. So you got default, normal, normal, normal. You go down here, you press the sport button. You notice everything changes into sport mode. I'm not in sport mode today because it's kind of nasty with the weather, so we're going to leave it. So we're going to put this here with the traction control on. And you can go ahead and you can set up your sport mode setup. You can set it up, you can go to comfy, which is a kind of a cruising type of handling normal and sport which really tightens up the rack gives it a heavy feel you got your traction right now we're going to leave it on normal because we want to leave the traction and there we go and you can put engine and trans you put the engine and trans on sport mode what it does is it basically makes the engine hold on a little bit longer maybe it shifts a little bit harder um, i would actually prefer to have it just be on the regular for that i didn't really notice any increase in performance it just kind of hangs on a little bit you got your paddle shifts you can actually turn the paddle shifts off too in there so you have your paddle shifters here paddle shifts are pretty cool people it's got the plus right here and the minus so that's minus and the plus they work very nice when you're driving you keep your hands on the wheel it's pretty cool and so that's how you do your apps here you also got here if you get out of here performance thing you've got your performance pages you can go ahead you can set up and you can look and you can see zero to sixty you can see what you've been what, what you've been pulling like in terms of g-forces or anything like that um, give it a second to come up so there we go um, g-force you can tell i was i got a peak I got a peak of 0.97 one side, 9.4 the other, 9.183. So this car really handles good. This is a, this has the sport package. It's a GT. It basically has the same suspension as you know, the other Dodges, even the V8s. So it uh, really, really handles good. It's, it's, it's an amazing car when you when you drive it like that. The engine is a little, still a little weird, but it got eight gears and it works good. So that's kind of how you get to things here. You've got your climate control here. But like I said, the main thing I like to do, people, is go into the apps. And you got a projection manager where you can go ahead and hook up your own phone to there. Um, it's got so many different things over here. You can hook, like I said, you can hook up your phone here. I did all that. You got various audio settings and everything. And uh, like I said, I like the performance it's set right there. So when, it, when the weather's nice out, I go ahead and I go to sport mode. And your handling gets really tight. The traction control is turned off. You can see on the dashboard, traction control is turned off. You see the little sport thing coming up there. You can customize your dashboard up here too. You can choose what you want onto the various thing. Got speedometer, screen setup. You can see your messages. I've got my range and all that stuff. We're just going to go ahead and leave it at speedometer and say okay for miles per hour. And uh, that's that. And then when you go ahead and you put it into manual mode. See how it's manual mode? It's red. It tells you you're in manual one. You can actually start out in second gear. You try to start out in third gear. It won't let you do it. So you can start out in second gear for traction control purposes. I just go back in the drive. And obviously it goes back up the park. And the paddle shifters. Paddle shifters you can do anytime you want. You can leave it in. You can leave it in regular mode here, people, and you can still do the paddle shifters here. And here, the difference is that if you go ahead into manual mode and you do the paddle shifters, um, it'll stay where it's at, as opposed to if it goes here and you don't want the paddle shifters, it'll go back to where it wants to go. So if you're doing some autocross or some racing uh, on some twisty highways and roads like we were doing the other night, uh, we put everything in full manual mode, and that was a way to uh, get us to have total control of the vehicle. And it really moves out eight gears. Um, it's this is the car is really it's this. Basically, this car is in, in sport mode. People, this car is basically a track pack ready uh, with the 20 inch rims here. Yeah, you basically have a, tr a track pack car, even though it's only a V6, so that might be a little down on power compared to the V8. But it's it's um, it's a uh, it's a pretty uh, pretty wild car. And like I said, you got the media. I don't have anything hooked up right now. I do have a USB device here. You can see right here. I got my USB device. If I plug it into the console right over here, um, the USB will come on. It'll start playing right away. It's got an auxiliary, obviously, too, as well. And I did have this phone hooked up to Bluetooth and everything. Music works fine. Everything sounds good. So that's just a quick, brief overview of uh, the instrument cluster panel here on this 2009 Dodge Charger GT. You can customize your display. Right now in the middle, I've got the miles per hour. I've got the range in the upper left. I got a compass in the middle and the, and the outside temperature there. So you can change things. It tells you your PSI. A little down on PSI in the tires right now. Got your performance. I don't know what that's telling me. Ration time. Hey, 4.7 miles per gallon. That's pretty good, huh? And my triple dominant just seems to go in endlessly. That's what's playing on the radio. No stored messages. There we go. 
and that's what we want. We want 37 miles per hour. You can change it to kilometers if you want. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool, customizable. Hey everybody, uh, Newsman 1967 and uh, Joe Mama on YouTube. And we're just looking at here. This is a 2019 Dodge Charger GT. And you can see we've got our performance stuff here. Right now we're in normal because it's bad weather out here. You can change things to sport. The car is very aggressive. As soon as you do that, you can feel the whole suspension and the steering just tighten up on you. It's pretty amazing. This, this car is essentially track ready, uh, the way it comes up here with you. You've got your climate. You're going to show my face a little bit here. There we go. And uh, so, yeah, we're driving here. Uh, you got your steering controls over here. You can check your just here. You got your cruise control, a little bit missing here. Uh, digital display readout here. Really nice car. Very good handling car. Yeah, right now, we're in normal mode, so you turn the wheel. It's fine. It's like a normal car. It's fine. You go ahead and you put this in. Uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go to apps. Let's go to performance control. Now you see we're in we're in sport mode. Look at this. Look at this, people. Look at look at the handling. Look at this car. It's amazing. This this car is literally track ready. You can downshift here. Down to second gear. Up third. Back down to second. There's your paddle shifters here. Listen to that engine, people. Listen to that Pentastar 3.6 killing it. Show this way. Not allowed, so that it knows it knows what, what it's doing. Back on the fourth gear here, people. Up nice behind a nice BMW here. It's be a good race if it was a little bit uh, nicer weather out here. But in the sport mode, people, this car handles like it's literally. It will handle like it's on rails. This car and the shifts are get a little firmer. You videotaping all this here? Yeah. See, we got this man down shifting here. Got a shift not allowed, so yes, as fast as let you go. It gets a little bit, the shifts do get a little bit. So you you want to take turns, people, you take turns in this, you take turns like this, you go right around the turn, and you just come out of the turn, give it some gas, go. Yeah, this is an amazing car, people. And if you want to get back, you go here, and then go back, and now you're a fully automatic drive. Or you can do the manual shift here. So we're in fourth, now I'm in fifth. Go down to fourth, same difference. Probably won't let us go down to second, but will let us go down to second here, that's pretty wild. So you can really come out of it. gear now same thing people downshift downshift in the second gear all the way down in the first baby but it is a little weather's a little bit bad out here today so you got there we go the back end steps out a little bit gotta love that oh ho, ho, man this car is something else people yep 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 something else this car the v6 lags a little bit when you hit the brakes off the line a little bit sometimes but as uh, once it gets going, you got eight gears here, people. So it's it's a pretty amazing car, especially in this sport mode here. And when you go in the sport mode, it shifts a little bit rougher. See how it holds on? See it holds on a little bit longer because everything and transmission, everything's in sport mode. And I can turn it back off, and I can just go back to normal. Just go back to normal, and uh, there we go. Normal steering. It gets a little bit lighter. The car's not as loud, not quite as raucous. It's still got this, this car. So people, this car is this car is a track ready car, people. 20 inch rims, 245, 45 tires. And you go ahead and you put this thing in sport mode. We have taken this thing uh, to a lot of different places where you can really get some speed going and it's not just 90 degree turns. And this car is track ready. I've had people who own BMWs, Audis, uh, Mercedes, and they've driven this car for the last few days and they're very much impressed with this car. So uh, this is Steve signing out.